Right, here's a, a quick demonstration as to how to install a arrow wrap to a carbon shaft and all you really need is a uh, what I've got here is a mouse pad with the, the soft side up uh, use any kind of a, a softish cushion uh, not so soft like a pillow or anything that'll sink in but something that'll give it a little bit of padding to uh, roll across smoothly and uh, allow the wrap to go around the shaft without any air bubbles and uh, to help facilitate it going on straight and like I said all you need is the uh, the wrap itself a clean carbon shaft and some kind of a pad like this mouse pad this one happens to be my HP mouse pad with a soft side up and all you have to do is peel off your wrap these were the, the seven inch boning wraps and the uh, the birch bark pattern I've uh, trimmed them down to four inches and it seems to be working out well for me and this is the hardest part really right here is trying to get this unstuck from your finger without it messing up and all you gotta do is you're gonna try to, to line up evenly the end of your shaft well, this is what I do anyways I, in, I line up the end of the shaft just past the uh, the wrap just so I don't have any overlap between the the carbon and my knock when I install it so I just do it just just a little bit past and then I try to eyeball the gap between the shaft and the wrap all the way across and when I see it's just about right all you gotta do is what I do is I just take it right in the middle of where the uh, the wrap is and I'll just start rolling right across the wrap. You'll see it pop up a little bit off the mat. This is not a race, remind, remind you. And just slowly and evenly distribute the weight of the pressure putting across the shaft and just roll it up. That's all I gotta do. And once it's gone, I just continue rolling it. And that's, that's really it. It is just that simple to put on a wrap. You see there's the seam right there. There's no overlap from one side to the other. All the way across. And uh, you see there's just a little bit of the, the carbon is still sticking out from the end of the, the wrap. And that's, that's it, fellas. That's how you put a wrap on a carbon shaft. And uh, stay tuned for another video that I'm going to follow up on, how to remove the wrap. Um, it comes out very cleanly. It's, this actually was a, uh, a shaft that I had just recently cleaned off, and I didn't make a video for it. But what you saw there was a shaft that previously had this same kind of wrap on it, and it, it just comes off that easily. And uh, hopefully I'll have that video up soon for you. Hope this helped you out a little bit.